So the other day I was going to TikTok and I stumbled upon this video about creating 3D models with AI. So I was curious about it and I tried it out and to my surprise, it actually worked. I messaged the team and I was able to get a sponsored video and here we are. So in this video, I'll be teaching you how to make 3D models from 2D images using AI. Okay, now I'm going to show you the process of actually making these 3D models. Link of the website will be in the description. If for some reason it takes you to chat avatar, just go ahead and switch to Rodin. Next is choosing the image that you want to turn into a 3D model. So for me, I'm going with Jason's mask and I'm going to put PNG. It doesn't really matter if it's PNG or not. Rodin will still remove the background. This one looks good, so I'll just go ahead and download this one. Okay, so now to add the image, it's simple. It's just dragging your image to this plus thing, or you can just click the plus. Um, and then another thing is you can actually type something and they'll create an image using AI. So for example, if I put Arky mask, uh, dirty, <laughs> and we click check mark, as you can see, we'll get some masks that look similar to jason's i didn't put jason i just put mask but that one looks pretty cool actually so we're gonna go ahead and click generate and here you have the model from just an image which looks amazing and it still doesn't have the texture however if you're unhappy with the geometry rodent recently added this feature called bounding box you can upload a 3d model as your bounding box or you can manually create a 3d model as your bounding box so here you can adjust the width the height and the length of your 3d model so if you want your model to be a little bit shorter or taller you can adjust it here once you do your adjustments you can press confirm and you also have to click the redo button once you're happy with your results you're going to go ahead and press confirm right here it's going to start generating and now this is basically what it gave us which looks pretty good now is actually time to generate the material which we already have a image reference so we're just going to go ahead and click generate and there you have it. as you can see it looks pretty good and now you select the format that you want the model to be in so obj fbx gob usdz and stl i would recommend going with obj if you're using um blender or after effects element 3d then right here you can choose whether to be shaded or the pbr material and i'm just going to go ahead and click on 4k and then download the 3d model so the download will be a zip file so you will have to unzip it i use winrar to unzip it it'll come with the 3d model and also the textures now i'm in blender and to upload it you go to import and wait for an obj since i did get the obj version locate the model where you downloaded it and then import and as you can see uh here's the mask if we go to the materials we don't have any materials so we have to add them we go to shading new you click on this Control shift t and then you locate the textures which are right here and then just like that they're all gonna get imported now you need an add-on for that little shortcut that i did and luckily blender already has the add-on installed you just have to enable it to enable it go to edit preferences add-ons and type node wrangler and it's right here yours is probably gonna be disabled so just enable it and then go right here save preferences and with that being said here's the model we can also go to 3d view but it's dark because we don't have any lights so let's go ahead and add a light i'm gonna add an area light Let's go to render view and let's change the cycles, GPU, and there you go. And just like that, you get this 3D model, which was AI generated, which is crazy to say that. And it looks amazing. And then for After Effects, you basically have to add a new solid at the element 3D plugin scene setup, import on your model. Okay, now it's probably gonna be really small, so you just put normalize size, and there you have it. As if for the textures, you want to drop this, go down here, and right here you import your textures. So you grab your diffuse, put it right here, and I like to just add the normal to the normal bump, and I just leave it like that. And there you have it. You can go down here with rotation and basically animate whatever object you made with um Rodin. Now it's time to wrap up the video. Thank you, Rodin for sponsoring this video and i hope you guys go try it out for yourself i actually really like rodin i'm definitely going to use it in my future projects here's some models that i was able to create with rodin and yeah as you can see they all look great if you enjoyed the video make sure to subscribe we're so close to 100,000, and make sure you give this video a like it's literally free 
and it will help the channel a ton but with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video deuces I'm king of the hell, I just be counting my stacks Don't really fuck with you, I cut them off like Bill Yeah, just like that oh.